wanashika kikombe wale wanajua kitu kile they tell one another to a hand in the and if you look at Nathaniel the prime minister Enjoy what God gave. Yeah. Defend it. Yes. So when the world is giving that young old man, they feel he's enjoying life. <laughs> so if you're pushing it now, me, you're pushing a man who is not in that degree. Yeah. And what he's saying in 1980, even today, they feel the same. just full of years no. with the hell and with a lot of wealth it's not about years it is not about how many husbands you've been married to it's not about how many That chapter is 
This generation who are to have their grandfathers teaching them the way of the Lord. The king and his son were well in the He had no purpose in life. The purpose was simply going around grassing with many people around. You see, the scientists have become liars. So your life loses meaning. Somebody will still be crying, stay longer. Amen. I hope you are one of them. Amen. Because I will be as strong as I was. Amen. Remember Moses when he was dying? They were wondering, how did he die? He, he was not sick. He was not bright. He was not dead. Can you imagine our grandmothers at, at 70, they are turning bright. Without being bright. The people that have seen can tell. But you're thinking she grew bright because she has grown old. No, she removed the eyes of the nation. So at 70, the eyes go dark according to the judgment she made. So much in education. That is the game I'm saying no. No, 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 no. There is one. I can only mention one case of life. So I tried to call. How did this old lady get bright? At one morning, she just got to dark. I had not even known they took her her everywhere. Catholic hospital. The doctor said nothing can be done. Dark, just like that, in the morning dark. And she's bright. So I tried to follow. I said, no, 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 no. So this lady is among the ladies. But she is very good. Get seated. Some have said I've gotten that. <laughs> It's time you pack your things for a wrong journey. Now you create your path. Amen. Let's get seated. Our time runs so quickly. We should have sung, sung a song <laughs> for a wrong time. Komana umusha ikujua yambo diyo iko na uwanja wanaita uwanja wa wimbo huo 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 wa kishaye moto na huo ni nafikiri iko na hapo karibu kwa kina jeru na jeru wa huo ni mwambia tafute kile kule kiko sasa ni kupotea lipotea jeru epeo komedia hmm Uwanja hiyo wanaita uwanja wa wimbo wa kisha moto Embudio one of the center school ambaye nyungu ile ikizimika inakuja kufuvuliwa embu from corners in Kenya na huwa na suspect iko hapo mbele ya mahali njero wanakaa iko mahali mbele Kwa nini na suspect hiyo? Kwa sababu ya jina hili linatumika hapo manyata. Na wakiuliza, niliuliza njeru watafute historia ya manyata. Nakambiwa tini wa masai walikuwa naishi hapo. Na ni maali taiba likuwa linakutana wanajenga tunyumba utu wa tunakatu wa masai. Wakatu wa wimbo. Na suspect that is what used to happen. Na nyumba yenye uwanja ule inja wa yondoka hiko. Because wanawake walio toka katika mataifa, communities a Kenya, wamekua hapo throughout. Sinjui ama mmoja mulisikia kinya kinena juu ya mmoja vila lirundi nyumbani baanda ya kuwa wamepotea. 
lakini shida ni yake kusema kule alikuwa anakaa ni wapi so we must bring up a song na the song of the lord must be sung until that the darkness is swallowed haleluya mnasikia kama maombi inasonga ama inakuwa ma inasonga na ndio moja ya maombi ile msito zaidi lakini atukuzwe jehova afunuae siri tunataka kuingia katika nyumba ya Mungu sasa kwa sababu ya masaa ngoja ni nene muda kidogo tu twende katika kitabu cha Yohana tunajaribu kuondoa giza so nina shida moja kila wakati ninapoanza kunena juu ya kitu wakati mwingine muda una, unaisha siso ni nabadilika kabla sijamaliza so kama sasa kuna kitu nilistahili kuja nikimalizia last service na this service lakini katikati season kasikia imebadilika tumeanza kutoka mahali tulikuwa tumeanza kuingia zone tofauti na kile uwe kinafanya nibadilisha kile nilikuwa ninanena ni ya kwamba ukiingia katika zone mpya usiweze kuitafakari kulingana na kweli uwezi kuomba katika ukamilifu wote so you must be able to tell the truth so that you are able to know the darkness how it operates ama the wickedness how it operates that is why i keep changing right now i want to we go to to john 1 i'm reading from line 1 then we go down to line Five. I hope you're there. Bidia sema hivi in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness overcame it not. I will read John 3. John 3. Rain 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved he that believes on him is not condemned but he that believes not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of god and this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil For everyone that does evil hates right neither cometh to the right rest its deeds should be exposed but he that doth truth comes to the right that is deeds may be made manifest that they are worked in God Amen Tusome kwa Kiswahili ndugu kwa wale wanasoma Kiswahili si juu ama uko nayo John chapter 1 line 1 to 5 Hapo mwanzo kulikuweko neno naye neno alikuwako kwa Mungu naye neno alikuwa Mungu Huyo mwanzo alikuwako kwa Mungu Vyote vilifanyika kwa huyo wala pasipo yeye hakikufanyika chochote kilichofanyika Ndani yake ndimo ulimokuwa uzima na ule uzima ulikuwa nuru ya watu nayo nuru ya ngaa gizani wala giza halikuiweza okay chapter 3 line 17 to 9 to 20 maana mungu hakumtuma mwana ulimwenguni ili au hukumu ulimwengu bali mungu, bali ulimwengu uokolewe katika yeye 
amwaminia yeye hahukumiwi asiyeamini amekwisha kuhukumiwa kwa sababu hakuliamini jina la mwana pekee wa Mungu na hii ndio hukumu ya kuwa nuru imekunja ulimwenguni na watu wakapenda giza kuliko nuru kwa maana matendo yao yalikuwa maovu maana kila mtu atendaye mabaya huichukia nuru wala hanti kwenye nuru matendo yake yasije yakakemewa bali yeye aitendaye kweli huja kwenye nuru ili matendo yake yaonekane wazi ya kuwa yametendwa katika Mungu amen Tuko pare sijui kama nitaweza kuyaleta yote vile yanavyostahili lakini kuna mambo kadhaa nataka uweke kwa moyo wako On Friday ama ni Tuesday nilijaribu kunena sehemu moja ya jambo hilo Ni mstari wa kwanza wa pili na watatu Nikasema ya kwamba ulimwengu uliumbwa kwa neno Yule yako yako I want you note that Ulimwengu uliumbwa kwa neno litokaro kinywa ni mwa Mungu kila kitu kiliomo kiliumbwa kwa neno litokaro kinywani mwa Mungu akasema na kiwe kinafanyika akasema kiwepo kinakuwepo sitaki kuingia katika udani wa, neno, wa kitu kile neno yule alikuwa nani kwa maana hapo inaandika kuwa yule neno alikuwa nani nitaingia pandaye hiyo kitu cha pili ulimwengu wote waifadhiwa kwa lile neno lililoumba ulimwengu uliumbwa kwa neno na unaifadhiwa kwa lile neno hiyo ni sehemu ya pili ulimwengu waifadhiwa na neno hilo lililoumba kitu cha tatu Aliyepewa maskani katika ulimwengu huo uumba vitu katika ulimwengu huo kwa neno lililoumba ulimwengu That is where I want you now to wake up Usweva who was given residence on that world am in that world he creates things in that world by the word whatever he want to have chochote anachotaka kuwa nacho atakileta by a word chochote anataka kufikia atakifikia by a word kwa hivyo aliyopewa maskani katika ulimwengu ule akapewa ulithi akapewa kuishi katika ulimwengu huo uumba vitu katika ulimwengu ule kwa neno Jambo la 4 Kilichoumbwa ulimwengu ule kwa neno uondolewa kwa neno pia Kwa hivyo aliyopewa maskani katika ulimwengu ule na kuna kitu anataka kuondoa ulimwenguni humo kilichoumbwa mbele yake atakiondoa kwa neno Ninakimbia mbio sana. I hope you keep with me. Kitu hicho ni cha ini ama ni cha tano? Hmm? Hiyo ni nimekupea ine. Kilichoumbwa kwa neno uondolewa kwa neno. Katika neno linenaro ulimwenguni kuna neno mara mbili. Neno la mtu muovu na neno la mtu mwenye haki neno la mtu muombo muovu uumba vitu katika ulimwengu huu kama anawishi na neno la mtu mwenye haki uumba vitu ulimwenguni huu kama anaishi mule lakini neno la mtu muovu huwa na limit of years neno la mtu muovu huwa na limit of years 
I want you note that. Lakini neno la mtu mwenye haki huwa alina limit of years ya kile linajenga. It has a limit of tenure. Neno la mtu muovu huwa na mpaka wa linaweza kufanya kazi mpaka lini. It has a limit of years. Lakini neno la mtu mwenye haki alina limit of tenure. Now, nimewambia mambo ngapi? Tano. Gote ni kupea maandiko kwa haraka. Utaenda kuyatafuta. Jacobo akasema hivi. Aliye na mamuraka juu ya ulimi wake, ana mamuraka ya kila kitu. Lakini asiye na mamuraka juu ya ulimi wake, hana mamuraka juu ya chochote katika maisha yake. Whoever who has control of his tongue has control over his life. Whoever who loses control over his life, tongue loses control over his life. Kwa nini anasema hivyo? Kwa sababu ulimi uachilia maneno. Lile neno likiondoka litaumba vitu. Kama hauna mamlaka ya ulimi wako, it will create chaos in your world. Kwa maana kila neno utaka itamuka litatoka liumbe kitu. Na kwa sababu huku jua kile unataka kuumba, utaumbiwa kitu kitaka chorete kuletea furugu, chaos, disappointment, failure, confusion because you don't have control over your tongue. Lakini aliye na mamlaka juu ya ulimi wake, uchunga kila neno litokaye ulimini mwake. Kwa maana you are jua katika ulimi ni taumba vitu katika ulimwengu huu na chochote kitakachoumbika kitakuwa chango it may become chaotic it is me who have created chaos it may become honorable it is me who have created honor have you understood Akasema neno lingine nyumba ya mwenye mtu muovu ni kubomolewa itabomolewa Hiyo ni kumaanisha nini kila akilichoumbika kwa neno la mtu muovu kinastahili kubomoka kinastahili kupomoka baada ya muda gani katika kizazi cha tatu na cha ine. ndio Mungu anasema nitafikishia mtu muovu uovu wake kutoka kizazi cha ine na cha tatu kuvikisha ni kumaanisha nianze kukamilisha alicho kijenga niondoe kizazi kile lakini kuhusu mwenye haki uzao wa elfu utakuwa bado unafurahia mbaraka iliyo juu yake hallelujah have you gotten what i have said uzao wa elfu hiyo ni kumaanisha neno la mwenye haki likisa jijenga uzao wa elfu utakuwa bado unafurahia Walizaau hata yule alikuwa nani? Jina lake lilisaulika. Lakini nyumba yake ingali ndio wanafurahia. Kwa maana mbaraka yake na mjengo wake it has no period of tenure. It endures forever. But now listen to this. Kile ninawanenea ndicho kinachukiwa sana katika taifa la Kenya. Right now Watu hawa walipochukua ndamu ya yule msichana wanachukua wanachukua ndamu yake. Nyumba ile walijenga uwezo wake ulikuwa ndamu ya msichana huo. Rahasha. Uwezo wa ndamu ile ni walipoichukua walinenea. Have you gotten that? So alichukua akasema alipokanyanga juu ya ndamu hiyo akasema Biblia inasema atembeae mchana ajikwai. Lakini sisi tutatembea katika giza. Neno lile likaweka anikweta katika eneo la Kiroho la Kenya, likagawanya taifa maeneo mawili. Eneo lililo jaa giza na eneo linalo jaa nuru. Baada ya miaka, wa Kenya wakatoka katika eneo lililo jaa nuru, wakarudi katika nyumba ya giza. Uwezo wa ile ndamu ni neno walio nena ndani yake. Kwa maana kuna mtu aliyenjaa roho wa shetani alielewa ya kwamba ulimwengu umeumbwa kwa neno 
unahifadhiwa na neno na kila atakaye kuumba anaumba vitu mule ndani kwa neno Wanawake wanakusanyika wanaanza kuimba wimbo, wameweka nyungu pale, wameweka ndamu pale, wakaweka mawe matatu, wanakusanyika wanaanza kuisunguka wakiimba, wakiimba, wanatarajia neno wimbo wao wakishe moto wa nyungu hiyo. Na wanaimba mpaka nyungu hili inawaka moto. Kile wanafanya kazi hiyo nayo ni neno. Kwa maana kuna mtu alielewa siri ya ulimwengu ya kwamba uliumbwa kwa neno, unahifadhiwa kwa neno na anayeishi mule uumba vitu mule ndani kwa neno. Na kuna neno la mtu muovu. Kile hawakuelewa ni ya kwamba neno la mtu muovu aliwezi kuishi milele. Kwa hivyo Isaya anasema mlijenga manyumba hata mkana yaita na majina yenu, mkafikiri yataishi milele lakini neno la mtu muovu it has a limit of tenor according to god the creator of the world kuna kitu kimoja kanisa limeanguka mtiani wake ya kwamba hatujawahi kuelewa ulimwengu huu tunaishi vitu umbwa ndani yake kwa neno Sasa utasikia mtu ni mgonjwa anasema ye yeah, nasikia kama nitakufa. Ate hiyo ni expression ya kuonyesha watu vile yako. But what you have done is you have created an environment of death around you. Na hivyo ndivyo magonjwa yale yasiopona uchukua ground. Kutoka pale utaanza kungangana na ugonjwa Unaenda hospitali unapewa ndawa, uonje wa uishi unarudi. Kwa maana tayari uliumbia maskani. Kuna mtu kuna mtu nilisikia akisema yule mtu anaitwa Ngaba na Wanyeri. Atasema alimwambia na hii gari ndio itaniua. Ndio ilimua. because we we seem to be so foolish about once once you create your world by once then your ones are given habitation by your works note that you create your world by once then those ones are given habitation by works. Ndio sababu walipochukua ile ndamu bwaka inenea lile neno linakuwa na uzito kuondoa kwa maana lazima tuondoe hii ndamu kwa maana ni tendo lililopea maskani yale maneno. So ninapozaliwa maskini ninaamka ninajikuta nina miguu nina mikono nina akili nina kila kitu ninasimama ninasema mimi si maskini mimi ni tajiri. Nikisha sema hivyo ninaondoka kwenda kufanya kile ninastahili kufanya ili neno langu lipate mahali pa kuketi. Hata kama ni sukuma nitaenda kuuza, chukue sukuma nianze kuuza. Na katika sukuma hiyo ninaiambia mimi si maskini, mimi ni tajiri. Naita watenja wa nyumba yangu kuja kununua. Are you here with me? Utagundua katika ulimwengu huu wanawake waliofundishwa katika nyumba ile akifungua saruni wengi wako na saruni. Walio katika nyumba hiyo wengi wako na saruni. Alifundishwa ya kwamba mtu akija uanze kumsuka, uanze kunenea nywele. Zo so, unaona anakusuka lakini kinywa chake kinatembea. Ananenea kichwa chako ile ikiwe akita nyoro kushukwa na mwingine. Hata ukienda Mombasa utakaa nazo hivyo mpaka urundi. Kwa maana alikumbia nyumba katika akiri. na ukifikiri kwenda kwa mwingine unasikia akiri zikiwa zimejaa giza ya aina.
Kwa maana alifundishwa ya kwamba nena tu kuna mtu atakuja kujenga kitu kile. So ukikundua vinywa vya maneno ya vinywa vyetu ni vya ni maneno itakuudhi sana. Kwa maana utakuta mtu alitoka pale ukimuuliza kile lile neno watatoa unashidwa. Do you understand what you doing? Am I you just a foolish person? Lakini baada ya, ya, ya hapo unataka Mungu akufanikishe. Kwa maana baada ya kuomba mirango ifunguliwe Mungu atasimama angoje. Kwa maana awezi kufanya jambo kabla ujaumba kile unataka. Utaomba upate breakthrough. Baada ya kupata breakthrough uende nyumbani ungoje vitu vitokee lakini naye Mungu atasimama angoje uumbe. Kwa maana yule maraika ambaye utumwa awezi fanya chochote mpaka wakati utanena ukisha nena basi anaingia kazi blessed be the name of the lord Woo. so munda huu mungu akaniambia erewa jukwaa hilo mumeenda kwake ni jukwaa linaitwa jukwaa matendo na maneno Jukwara matendo na maneno. Kama amuelewi vile tendo na neno ufanya kazi, jukwara lile litawameza. Kwa maana nyinyi hamtaweza kuligeuza. Kwa maana kuna kitu mumepungukiwa nacho. Amuelewi vile neno ufanya kazi. Kwa hivyo mkifika katika jukwara lile kazi yenu itakuwa kulialia, kulialia Mungu tuonee huruma. Mungu tuonee huruma. Unaona vile wameua? Oh Mungu, Mungu tuonee huruma. Utaomba vile lakini utaacha kitu kile kikiwa kimesimama. Kwa maana can you imagine can you imagine this? Utakuta mtu amechukua mtoto mdogo kwa maana anasema ni mwanzo wa maisha yake. Kwa hivyo katika mwanzo wa maisha yake nitanena neno la mwanzo. Can you imagine kile? Atende tendo mbaya zaidi ili liweze kubeba neno kwa uzito ulio juu zaidi I hope you've got it Na ukifika katika uwanja huu anafanyia kitu kile hata ukijua ni kiofu Kama ujui kanuni kanun iliyoumba ulimwengu na vile vitu umbwa katika ulimwengu ule utaacha kitu kile kimesimama na mwishowe ndicho kitakuwa kwa maana kuna kitu hauerewi Uliumbu, ulimwengu uliumbwa kwa neno unahifadhiwa kwa neno kwa sababu umehifadhika na neno kila aliyopewa maskani katika ulimwengu ule kama ataumba chochote lazima a anene kwa maana ulimwengu ule eneo lake ujua neno ukitamka ulimwengu ule unaumba unaumba kile umetamuka ukitamuka kitu kasoro itakumbia kitu hicho ukisema njia hii imefungwa inafungika dakika hiyo na watu wanaanza kusikia miguu ikikata katika so muda ulipofika rastia Mungu akaniambia kitu hiki hautawikiweza mpaka unenee mchanga na maji nikauliza msanga mchanga una masikio kaniambia mchanga una masikio kila unahitaji ni kufikisha neno katika mchanga nikauliza ne, neno ufikishwa katika mchanga vipi akaniambia tendo ndio ubeba neno kama litafika katika mchanga lazima liwe imeketi katika tendo so nenea mchanga kwa tendo tendo gani akaanza kunifundisha jinsi ya kupebesha tendo neno akaniambia ukinenea machi unatenda tendo ili neno lifike katika machi hiyo kitu ndiyo ndicho walielewa. So kutoka wakati ule tukaanza kutembea. 
kutoka siku hiyo ndiyo nimejua mambo sasa wanasema wajui mvua hii imeletwa ime na nani na rastia walijaribu kuisi waliisimamisha ndisemba rastia walisimamisha ilianza wakaikata katikati na wakafauru sana wakafurahia wameikata mwaka huu ilipoanza wamerundi kukata walipoenda mlima Kenya mzee yule alikuwa anaongoza kafa rasti mathi but one wakati walikuwa wanajaribu kulinda raani walijaribu kukata mzee yule alikuwa anaongoza pia upande wa chini alikufia kwa maji wakasema kuna kitu wamekuta kwa maji wamekuta ndamu kwa maji tofauti na ndamu ile wanapeleka kwa maji na sauti yake inanena tofauti na sauti zile waliacha kitabu kwa maana neno tulilo litamuka lilibebwa na tendo tulilo litenda likapenya katika ulimwengu wa rohoni wa maji likaanza kubadilisha sauti yake sauti yake haijageuka kabisa kwa maana kuna jukwa kadhaa tuelewi lakini imefika mahali sasa inaweza kuwasuia kusimamisha mvua lakini kuna kitu kimebaki bando mazao ya mchanga wa nje yanastahili kurejeshwa the minute you say something you must know it will happen that's why the bible say let the sick say i am healed Let the poor say I am rich. Let the weak say I am strong. He is not just telling you <coughs> to speak foolishly. No, he is telling you to understand. Your strength shall be established by your word. Your health shall be established by your word. Your prosperity shall be established by your word. Then after you speak go and do something. then the word shall ride on what you have done to bring you to where you want to go and you speak and you do not tire speaking ayubu alipotezwa sana alisema kitu moja sitaacha werekevu wangu siachi hata ukiniua siachi na baada ya mimi kufa tutakutana uniambie nilifanya makosa gani siachi werekevu wangu alielewa mamlaka ya lile neno Mtu anaitwa Daudi anasema sitakufa. Anakimbishwa na Saulo mlimani mabondeni. Anasema sifi, nitaishi, nitangaze matendo makubwa ya Bwana. Sabu lingine anasema kama sikuamini, nitapata mema katika inchi ya walio hai. Wangenimeza. Lakini nilipoamini niliongea. Nilipoongea ikaumbika. Oh glory Aravu nikatenda tendo fuata yule jamaa hata alipopewa sa- Sauli kama mtu anapewa na saani ako hapa na yako hapa askari akamwambia Mungu ameona akusaidie ndiye huyu akamuliza naye mafuta aliyepakwa tutafanya nini naye anatenda tendo libebaye lile neno Sauli alipotoka katika ponde lile akasema ndaudi na kweli wewe ni ha- mwenye haki kuliko mimi ni mwenye kutenda tendo jema kuliko rangu kabisa utafanikiwa akaongea kuanguka kwake let me ask you do you know how to create things <laughs> 